Hello, my name is Kamar Delos Reyes. Um, what's your next project coming up? Oh, well, geez, I just did a, a movie called Love and Suicide. Um, we, we shot in Cuba. It was the first uh, American uh, film shot in Cuba since 1958. Since Earl Flynn went back and shot some footage there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quite an amazing uh, project only in the sense that uh, we did it all on the fly you know I mean it's a it's a beautiful story I, I believe everyone should go see it but uh, this is something that w you know we we snuck into Cuba and, and we shot a movie and then snuck back into the United States to create it yeah. um, explain your character he's a he's a distraught uh, New Yorker you know who's uh, New York Latino who's n has basically lost everything you know lost uh, sense of a sense of life and uh, and has decided to uh, to go to Cuba where his father is from and uh, and end it all and commit suicide um, while in Cuba he he discovers his uh, his background his heritage and himself and instead of finding uh, death he finds life what was his character's name uh, Tomas yeah Tom at the beginning of the film Tomas by the end of the film what else do you have planned for 07? Well, you know, I'm uh, I, I'm currently working on my on uh, on my regular gig, which is One Life to Live, over at ABC. Um, my family over there, um, and uh, I got a lot going on with ABC and and uh, Disney and One Life to Live. I also uh, have another film I did at, in Puerto Rico with Rosalind Sanchez called Co Calle, an all Puerto Rican film, um, which is also a, a labor of love. Yeah, you know, it's it's kind of weird. I actually consider myself, uh, uh, well, I think people are starting to look at me as somewhat of a, a veteran, which is a scary <laughs> scary word to use with me. Um, no, um, I've been there 10 years, you know, and so uh, that's that's my family over there, you know, and uh, we do some good stuff over there, you know. We're one of the few um, soaps that has a, a, an all-Latino family, you know, and um, a Puerto Rican family, which is we don't see much of, not only in daytime, but... Uh, in primetime television overall, you know, uh, and uh, and something that I, I feel that network television needs to work harder, uh, you know, not just developing characters and family, but developing story, you know, that goes with those characters. But uh, I, I think One Life to Live has done a, a formidable uh, job of that. Um, I'm also working on uh, with the Gabriel Project, raising money to uh, to bring uh, children back from all over the world for life-saving heart surgery. Um, I was just recently and. In Tanzania, Africa. Um, over the last uh, three years, we brought back uh, three children: two from uh, Tanzania and one from the Dominican Republic. Um, so I'm really proud of that. Um, it's really important that we uh, we put our efforts out there to help as many children as we can. And that's uh, that's one of the one of the gifts I've been given um, by being able to do what I do. Um, so I, I think uh, taking that opportunity to to uh, to give back. And that's my way of giving back, is uh, trying to raise awareness um, for children in, in every sense of the word. You know, I was just recently talking to Ricky Martin and his organization about, uh, you know, the trafficking of children and um, prostitution. And it, it, it's just, it's a, it's a really, really sad, sad world um, when, when you think that, uh, when it comes to, you know, when you think that people out there are, are using and abusing children. And... Uh, and so uh, it's important for us to to know that that's going on, and uh, and and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use as many uh, minutes of my day to to make that happen. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's 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 what I'm working on right now, man. And 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 those are my goals, you know. And it's it's important, you know. I just realized I'm almost 40 years old. I'm 39 years old, and uh, you know, for the first. 40 years of my career, I've been I've been working really hard on you know establishing relationships and and uh, working on my craft and and building in somewhat of an identity and 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 now I realize that you know this second half of my 40 years is about uh, building a legacy and uh, and uh, uh, reaching.
reaching some sort of fulfillment. And I think the only way to do that is by uh, by reaching out and, and for me anyway, uh, reaching out and, and helping children and raising awareness. Sorry, yeah. Ask him a little bit about his musical background because he comes from a musical family. Ask him a little bit about that. So um, when you first started out, uh, you were a musician. Uh, um, you, well, you, uh, yeah, I, I never like to use a, consider myself a musician only because, man, I come from four generations of kick-ass musicians, um, true professional musicians. You know, I, I played the trumpet when I was like three, four years old till I was about 15. I was following in my grandfather's footsteps, who was my idol, a uh, very famous singer, trumpet player in Cuba. He was the... Uh, he was the founder, he and his brother were the founders of, uh, of Orquesta Casino de la Playa, which is a very famous uh, orchestra from Cuba. A lot of uh, wonderful musicians and singers have come from that orchestra. Um, that or orchestra started in, in my father's living room in Cuba, in San Rafael 560 in Old Havana. Um, and, and it's, you know, that, that, uh, that lineage has worked its way up in our family. Uh, my father's a famous drummer, percussionist from Cuba. Uh, Who's worked? Uh, who's worked with the who's who in the music business? And uh, my brothers followed in his footsteps. Also, percussionist drummers have played with everyone from Santana to Steve Winwood, um, uh, you know, um, Stevie Nicks, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Jennifer Lopez, Ricky Martin. You you name it. You know, the, they're they're hired guns and they're they're great at what they do. Um, so I, I was you know I I was fortunate as a child to be surrounded by uh, by all of that talent and uh, god-given talent man and uh, i'm just grateful you know that uh, that that i had that as uh, as an influence so yeah yeah ask him um any movies he's coming out or you know maybe those links he has or yeah so uh with the film when is the release date uh well love and suicide we're hoping for a, a early spring release and uh and we're just keeping our fingers crossed you know it's uh it's cowboy filmmaking at its best, and Louis Moto uh, put together an, uh, a really wonderful family-orientated film where everyone can go see it. There's no bad language in the film, no, uh, no sex, no uh, violence. Uh, it's one of the few films out there that, that can actually um, say that. And, uh, and, and we have Cuba, the real Cuba, as the background, man, which you know everybody's got to see. Even in, even in its state, you feel the grandeur of what that city is um, is and was um, it, it was an amazing experience walking into uh, walking through the streets of Havana and and you know I've, I'd always heard these stories that my father told me and and uh, and I, I always wanted to see what that what what he was talking about man and when I walked I mean look I'm getting goosebumps right now I mean I, I walked down those streets and and I completely could see what what Cuba was uh, what felt what Cuba was back in the 40s and you know, 30s and 40s, and and it's just a, a shame. Um, I mean, it 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 still is a a wonderful place, but uh, you know what's going on there is is a crime, and and let's not uh, let's not look past that. I mean, you know what what Fidel Castro and that regime has done to Cuba is a crime, and and uh, but uh, we have it's it's a still a beautiful place with some beautiful people, and uh, and we just got to get to know them. You know, they're 90 miles off the coast of Florida, man. I mean, it's like it's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, that's it. Cool. All right, so now we got to do the... Hi, I'm Kamar Delos Reyes, and I'm hanging out here with my family, Urban Latino Television.